Yo, what up? This is your boy Shadow Slash One. And um yeah. GameCube, what could he be doing? A Trinity symbol. What game could it be? What Walker is it? Sega. Sonic Team. Oh my god. That music. It must be Sonic Team. Game. We all get to see the opening cinematic true. Skip the uh, intro stuff again. Because you've seen it once. And that's enough for now. Unfortunately, since I'm doing a walkthrough of it, means I have to do each all four teams. That was my fault. Which means I even have to do a team I don't like. Namely, I'll go ahead and do this. I'll do it in a uh, Difficult the way I like to do it. So let's go ahead and get this over with. We're up! You can count on me! Okay, here we go! Somebody, please shoot me. Oh, oh, Hiding from you! <laughs> And because Amy's on this team, and big, this team sucks. So this is the only team that has a stage zero. AKA a tutorial stage. W. Hello, I'm Paul Dow. In this stage, you can practice different types of actions. This is your me carefully, and you will learn a lot. Okay, are you ready to start? Yeah, you have to listen to Omnichow. Okay, face controls. No, you'll learn them in the tutorial, why not? A is jump, by the way. That's all I'm telling you. A, press it twice when you're in this formation. Okay, anyway. First, I'll explain the formation. Each formation is different depending on who the leader is. Press the Y button or the X button to change leaders and try different formations. Chucky. I'll do my best, here we go! Right here. I'll do my best! Only makes me want to kill him more. You see the blue, yellow, and red symbols in the top right corner of the screen? The blue symbol is the 
Cerbo means the leader is B type. The yellow Cerbo means the leader is Y type. The red Cerbo means leader is Power type. The character symbol at the bottom indicates the current leader. So, well, Amy is on the speed type, but um, Amy slows ball. Next, I'll tell you about the formation signal. These signals tell you which formation is most effective from that point. When the signal is blue, speed type leader is recommended. When the signal is red, power type leader is recommended. Can I please kill Omni Chow now? This is actually a save. There was a way to skip this stage. I really the forgot. It automatically changes when you go through this game. So, for example, let's say you went through the middle gate. You automatically change to big. Go through the fly gate, you automatically change to uh, cheese. I mean, cream. Go through power gate, you aim. Here we go. Turn into Fish. You're in C formation when the character in the blue symbol. No is shit! This formation features really fast. That will gain me. Let's try it by changing the leader to the character in the blue symbol. Shut the hell up, Tommy Chow. Blah! Oh yeah, B. It's best to go in and um speed formation on that. Alright! I mean um Okay, stop it! Thank you. Actually, yeah, I did that in a second. These is best to do either two, one of two ways. Either one, change the fly mode, and go like that, and you'll hit all three. Because you get a pri you get something random creating all three. Or, going into a uh, power formation, then just lining it up, and having all three go on. Now, I'll explain the homing attack to you. The homing attack comes in really handy and is used often in the speed formation. Oh, shit. So make sure to master this technique. Press the A button to jump, then press the A button again while you're in mid jump. That's how to use the homing attack. How do you use the now, kill on the gel attack? Here we go! So pretty much it telling you to do that. Now, let's talk about wings. How about we do that? Oh wait, we got some more time in this vid. These things lined up here are what we call rings. It's important to always have at least one ring with you so you don't lose a life when you take on damage. So don't forget to pick up rings. Seriously, this tutorial is for people who've never played a Sonic game before. That is honestly what this tutorial is for. So if you've never played a Sonic game before, why would you be playing this one? Here we go! Yeah. Since homing attack automatically targets the enemies for you. I'm done listening to Omni Chow. I'll explain everything. Right. So, you see that health there? I mean, when it says two, you have to hit them two more times for them to explode. That's pretty much their health meter. Yeah, the enemies in this game are a lot tougher. That's telling you that you can use the homing attack to get to separate areas. So you can do this. Next. Oh, and this is the rocket ex rocket itself, which rocket itself, which you'll do a lot. See how the seat cloak you can't run. Wow, you could run up it. You think this is retarded. This is where you're supposed to practice this. Just press B and once everybody's gotten over to you, yeah. you do that. Do it early, you just do a uh, solidary action. There we go. Alright, another thing about this game. Uh there's the there's the level up thing. You see these uh those uh, small circles on each of your spaces? When you hit one of these, these are called power cores. Come over, and they level up. Now, speed formation, you're a bit faster. Fly formation can uh, fly a bit higher. And power formation does a bit more damage. That is essentially what happens. Oh, also, uh, thunder shoot as well. Yeah. Here we go! 
There are only three levels of it though. Sometimes you can even get This is telling you that power cores also drop out of energy. Like so. Now, hold that thought, people. First, 